got the fire stoked up back there so it's going to be warm in here in a couple 55 minutes. We're going to burn a couple hours working on the crew cab tonight. I'm going to do a little bit more body work on it. But then we're going to be hitting the road bright and early at about 3 a.m. I already have the dually hooked up at the trailer. Winch is all set up. Jump pack. We're ready to pick up a truck that I never thought I would have. Mainly because it's a Ford and it's an extremely rare truck to find. These things are, you know, a dime a dozen. They are very few and far between. Almost like finding a Charger or the Crew Cab swept line truck. Now, if you know me, V Belt and Son, I've burned through quite a few second generation Dodge trucks and brought them back from, you know, sure death. The stuff that's been sitting for years and years and years. And, you know, I'll do the necessaries, body work, paint, whatever it takes. We'll flip it, restore it, send it out of state, sell it. I'm just happy they're back in, you know, circulation. And I made quite a bit of money doing that when my younger gears, when, you know, flipping trucks on the side was fun and beneficial and here we go. But I've acknowledged the fact that I don't want to keep doing the same exact truck time and time again. So that's why I've stepped in some of these classics that I've wanted since I was a little kid. And I'll be quite honest with you, these rigs, very hard to find and when you do find them they are not cheap i'll just be flat out honest with you especially the ones that look like something that duke boys were jumping those damn things are expensive but when it comes to the vehicle we're hunting tomorrow it is another rare vehicle ford dent side with a couple extra doors now this vehicle she's gonna need some work but i'll tell you what for the price on this one I threw a number out there that I was happy to grab it at. Obviously, I have too many projects on my plate at once, but a deal's a deal, and you can't pass them up if they come down to your number. So we'll entertain that. Grab your Red Bull. We'll see you at 3 in the morning. Let's go. I don't even know. It's too early. at the watch and it said McGriddle 30. Elsa said might have got up early. Slightly not fully conscious but we're almost it's there. It's daylight out now we can see where we're not conscious. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced what highway is that? 99. She was rough. Don't do it. Dude, probably about as rough as this guy driving around with his landing gear down. Look at that. Man, this guy's got a diamond seat trailer. You see that? We're gonna check that thing out. Dude, what are the odds we walk up on this thing and it unlocks? If it does, I'll go ahead and take it. I'll be honest. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this truck. So we're rolling up on the place now. I think I see it. The deal is old muscle cars, two door make it cool. But if you're buying an old pickup truck, you gotta have four door. I don't know why that makes them cool, but that's the deal. And I think this guy's got about four of them here. <laughs> Oh man, look at old red. Got a dually. The destination right is on your right. Well, even the tires look pretty brand new, bro. I like, I should have switched those tires. <laughs> I got some mags. Some mags that came with that truck, but they were blown. So oh, I had really? to put those stock ones on there. And I'm work, I'm working on a, on a 69, bro, that's right here close to my house. Uh, right oh, here, really? Fresno, yeah. 69 Shore Bear. I think it's complete. Actually, I was gonna buy it before I bought my blue one. But my blue one looked nothing like that. Yeah. I think it looked worse than this one. <laughs> <laughs> we buried in the finesse now. Huh? See? Oh, yeah. I just started little, did little by little, and so it looks I like now. It's pretty bitchy. Short bed? Short bed, yeah. yeah. You're just gonna have Thomas Dallas in it. How much? I'm like 25 right now, dude. Well, cause I bought the guy sold me the trolls is gonna come out to like almost 40 grand. Shit adds I haven't got so that quick. shit yet, <laughs> and that's almost what it needs now just to finish. <clears throat> yeah, one of the 
That was the problem with mine. This one is all rotten. Oh, yeah? This is. Ford does it a little different, though. Instead of boxing that in, that old Dodge, it was boxed in, you know? Oh, uh, and the whole Dodge and water right there, huh? Yeah. It's like, hmm, what's this here? We got a little. What the hell happened to that? Is that that one? Oh, that's oh, a we got a little cancer in the door. Both of them do. End of the world. How'd your other trucks fare with that? Yeah. How'd your other trucks fare with the. Uh... Yeah, she's. She's full of stuff right there. Not bad. I Tried to fix it at one point. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Got into that one. Uh, they just tried to mud over that rotten spot. got a better looking build. It has a little shit right here, but it's better than this one. I could throw that in for you too, man. Yeah, I'll be done. Because this, one's, this one's awful. Huh? Well, what do you think? We got a V-Belt truck a little bit now. Yeah. It looked pretty good sitting next to his when they've all done up. Yeah. About 15, 16 years yeah. in. Hey, you know what I mean? Come on. Seems pretty. Got a little rattle action going on. But that, like that Ford door sound. What do they got? Just the grill insert would be different. The headlights. I ungrilled them. I bet you that thing's like a. Doesn't look like a cab chassis. They just yeah. Stretch. Oh, they had to. Though. I think they made that one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's not, not a cut like this. Oh, dude, that kind of good. Yeah, so I, I just did it myself. I, have, I was going to have a buddy come in. Flipping the trailer around, and we're going to load her up. It is exactly what I was hoping for it to be. It does have some Bondo, like you saw, but for the most part, like, the magnet's penetrating through it. Slightly hoss of a magnet, but nevertheless, it didn't feel very weak through the little layer of Bondo hammer dolly action only bummer is it's missing the windows in the passenger side front and rear but the old boy says they're, they're the same as the front so that should be relatively easy to source but uh, i'm pretty happy with the deal i can't argue with it um, man it's sick just look at it just look at it Probably just easing in over here, shimmy it back. That way we're gonna have to block anybody's driveway more than we already are. Alright, that'd be good. We'll go over backwards now. Yeah, we'll go back there and we'll use that for the other side. Stop putting it in so you have to move one up. the bumpers right there.
right there. Woo! Oh, lightheaded. I think we're making pretty good time. We are over 400 miles deep today. And I think we'll get home right about lunchtime. Obviously, we're going to stop before we get all that back to have some pickups and check. What in the world? Those things. I tightened those once already, too. I've hunted for one of these trucks for a very, very long time. Ideal green plumbings right here. These these dents are new. <clears throat> 500 miles knocked out before lunch. Stopped and got the tacos. Next stop. Compound. Yeah, we need a tow truck. Spent some serious coin on stuff that don't run this last year or so. Son of a gun. Am I a Ford man now? Wait, if you're a Ford man, you gotta wear your hat like this. Is that right? That's what it seemed like Ford guys. I don't know. Anyway, I own a Ford. It doesn't make me a Ford guy now, but I've honestly always wanted one of these trucks, especially the dent side, and it's just so weird that it happened to be red like my old man's truck. My dad's had that 78 or 76 truck since 1978. His dad bought it, ran it for a little bit. My dad bought it off of him. So I guess technically my dad's the third owner because, you know, that's crazy. My dad's had it for that long, to be honest with you. So I'm excited to have not only a four-door crew cab dent side, but it's a long bed. That's a hard, hard number to find right there. But I'll go ahead and walk you guys around this a little bit more. But I'll tell you, you need to switch over to the Samson Andrew account later on down the road when this truck will resurface because... Like I said in the beginning, I have a lot of project trucks and I don't need any more. But this number was something I threw out there that I said I'd be willing to pay for the truck and somehow he came down to my number. So I had to buy it. That's just how it works. But let's check this thing out. Again, guys, I'm transferring all this old school stuff over to the personal channel, Samson Andrew account, because I got projects on tops of projects. But let's just take a look at this rig. Uh, real bummer I didn't know this but somebody probably splashed this side with a weed eater and busted out both of these windows luckily the little guy survived but this truck is actually a factory orange maybe like a Caltrans kind of a rig maybe I don't know county rig if that wasn't already its second coat of paint but the red is currently what's standing out a couple areas that they did point out in the photos before I went down and looked at it the guy was nice enough to send a bunch of photos which I really appreciate a lot of people do not care to send a uh, good amount of photos because photos are worth a thousand plus words and if you send 20 photos that adds up good but we got bondo here the bed looked pretty good then closer inspection we got flakage right there not too bad that might just be thick paint but down here we got bondo getting heavy and then you feel it behind she's a little thick but nevertheless she's got an intact bed and you might be able to cut and buff over some of that, but this thing is going to get a full restoration, just like the crew cab down the line. Now oh, there's some more Bondo hitting there. Let's see how thick that is. Might have to pull out the knife and tickle this thing. I'm going to break a fingernail, you know, be a little cowboy sissy. Come on now. Why, why, we got the camera out. Oh, Jesus. Fine, I'll get the knife section part out of this thing. Oh, 69 charger. Oh, sitting on 38s. That's weird. Oh, well, there's an eighth inch Bondo. It's funny that somebody would Bondo this rather than just put a, you know, hammer out the dent from the other side. Because you can see this is all. So we got Bondo in a couple spots. But for an old rig, that's just going to happen. We got all the seats. One cool other thing is we got the door cards. He threw in an extra grill because this one's a little mangled. And we're believing that underneath the hood here is a 351. I do not know really how to verify much anything on one of these Fords. Honestly, a lot of these Fords that I've opened up the hood on have all had a Cummins in them. And one neat thing about these rigs compared to a swept line is they already have the firewall tunneled so that you can get a Cummins in here with the intercooler and the radiator stacked and the factory fan can go in the mix with Cummins. So that's one major thing about getting one of these trucks compared to a swept line. A swept line, technically you probably should cut a ton on the firewall 
or if you get used to one of these rigs and it's got 390 in it hoss maybe this one's hoss but the rumor is this one's just got uh, bum brakes and it was parked because it had bad brakes but you look here i'll get this thing running and drive to cars and coffee with the uh, v8 in it two-wheel drive but my plan here with this rig not this one i'm gonna do aiming for a third gen common rail swap i'd like to find a g56 truck that's been wrecked and if i found one tomorrow i'd probably go snag on it if the price is right but i really don't want to spend extra money on more projects that are featured out because i need to you know spend a little bit of money on stuff that's in the shop so it'll be coming swap same thing with the general here the monster lee but i'm gonna end this video here because there's quite a bit of a you know we got some time eating up we got bondo issues here and there but for the most part we're just happy as hell that this thing is still in existence check this out this is cool though factory dual fuelers ford was cool about that yeah a little they know they could just put one big tank up there but whatever anybody wants this probably sell it to you because i don't i don't want a headache rack anyway thank you guys so much for watching the journey of me going to buy my first ford pickup it's almost the same as my first ford car she's over there i haven't got around to it one owner pinto two-wheel drive truck to pinto it's pretty much the same thing right two-wheel drive is two-wheel drive truck or car but the car does have a manual transmission anyway comment below what you guys think we'll see you guys in the next one later